you, the, the, the changing factor was when our quarterback had, who was in front of everybody, he said, it was 14-0. We got a battle with varsity. It's going to be okay. Take your time. Let's go out. Let's do what we do. And then so happened, the next play happened, and uh, we were down 14-7. So, I mean, it's all, it's basically goes down to the captains, man. They, they held it down. I got a great offensive line. They open up the holes, and my job is to make the last guy miss. I mean, it doesn't get too much easier than that. You can run straight and make somebody miss, and run off for an 80-yard touchdown. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> you got a guy with a different number throwing you the ball this year. Does any changes this year from last year? Does it look the same, different? Um, not, not much different. You know, I trust Carson as much as I trust Brock. You know, he's a great quarterback. Trust him to put it out there, you know, the short passes, the long passes. Um, you know, hopefully we can just keep this rolling and get some completions and keep the victories coming. Um, I see a lot of leadership. That's definitely what we need from a quarterback and someone that can calm us down when we're getting too hyped or someone that can pump us up when, you know, we're down 0-14 is, you know, that's something we really need and something we got to keep going this whole year. Carson, when did it start to click for you? You got to go because it seemed right after John scored it. It started to come a lot more easy for you. Yeah, really right after John scored, like you just said, um, Offensively, we just knew we knew what we could do. Like I already said, right from Jump Street, we knew that we had the things there. We were just missing here and there. You know, we had a fumbled snap. We had just little things. Um, you know, kept us sidetracked a little bit. But then, once that long run broke, and then the defense started to get some stops, getting some confidence there, things just started clicking for us. Was it nerves early on for you guys? Uh, it was probably a combination of nerves. You know, I don't know. We've Coach Paul Sex always said we, we've been prone to be a slow starting offense, and that's uh, something that we want to get away from. Obviously, today we didn't, but we, you know, we really stayed the course, which was good to see from the guys, and um, came out on top. Yeah. John, the offensive line, we talked about it. A lot of new parts up there. It seemed like it was the Bison offensive line we, we've gone used to as the game went along. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, they're, they all know what it takes to be great. You know, they've had great ones in front of them. So, I mean, torch gets passed on, it's going to get passed on for history, history. So, the Rams are they're one of the best groups in the nation. It starts with the coaching, and then it goes down, it trickle downs to each guy with the leadership, with Joe Head coming back and getting all those guys ready to go. And I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to be a great group. Yeah, just talking to the program, the second win against Oh, you know, we, we look forward to these games, you know, years in advance. We try not to because we take it game by game, but. There's definitely in the back of our head, you know, last year we were thinking about Kansas State the entire year. This whole offseason we were thinking of Iowa State. And, you know, we definitely, we prepare for them all fall camp. You know, we get our own work in. We start, or we start scouting them early, get our work in. And those games, they're, they're huge for us. They mean so much. And, you know, we just got to give it our all every single game. And being 5-0 and all against them now, that, that means the world. Uh, yeah, with uh, Coach Paul Set coming back now, he's got a new couple schemes from um, Northern Illinois now, and you know we we've used those in our offense. Um, you know we're just trying to keep it balanced still. We still trust our running backs and everything, and we're gonna air it out, keep keep teams honest. You know, chuck it downfield like we always have, and you know just get a nice balance between the pass and run. Carson, we've heard, we've seen you just a little bit. This is your first chance to really play on the big stage. How how gratifying. Oh, it's it's awesome. You know, it, like we already talked about, it helped once once John popped that big run. You know, took a lot of pressure off me, and then the Rams just really started to come alive. And you know, we started opening up holes, and things just came easy for me after that. You know, the first play got a completion of Ra. That that really helped me out as well. You know, calm down the nerves, and um, it's just a great game and a great team win. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, Sam Madrid was a great back. He's one of the best backs in, in, in the SU history. And uh, just being able to carry that torch to the next level, you know, I, I want to be able to be one of those guys at the end of the day can be one of the greats. And, and all those guys behind me, Chase Morlock, you've seen what he did tonight. King Frazier, you've seen what he did tonight. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, NDSU is, uh, you know, it's the running back factor. And, and we had in the back of our minds the last time we lost to a, a bigger school was Iowa State. And you know, we wanted to go out and 
you know. So it's different now. So Zach, is the machine rolling again? I have question marks about this team coming into the season. So is this thing you guys rolling again? We're we're in full force. We're ready to go. We're not holding back on anyone, and we're ready to keep this train rolling. A lot of work. Um, I mean, it was just great resolve. I mean, that's what we do. We we never get nervous. We never uh, we never worry. We just know that we're gonna keep the pace, keep doing what we do on defense, and the offense is gonna score eventually. So I mean, it was uh, it was just buys in football. That's what we do. Well, we kind of had an idea, um, but you know, when you when you come into games, um, a lot of times the offense will have things scripted, and they knew what we were going to do, and so they came in and they had the uh, first good couple drives, um, and so, I mean, that, that'll happen a lot in games. They'll get to a, a quick start, but um, it's uh, it was a good thing that we uh, came around and, I mean, ended up playing co green defense like we do. What did you do? Um, no, nothing really specific. I mean, we still ran the same things. We uh, disguised a little bit more to give their quarterback a, some different pictures. Um, but that's about it. We ran the same stuff. Yeah, it seemed early in the game when you were getting as much pressure on their quarterback and getting some scramble play. Did you change anything rush-wise? Did you feel like you got after a little more after the Yeah, I think, I mean, just overall as a defense, we were a little rusty um, coming out of the gate. And, uh, yeah, we changed a little bit, tried to uh, – Tried power rushing a little more, getting in his face, it closing off those windows. Uh, he had a lot of, he had a lot of, um, you know, windows in that first, that first half, especially to scramble. So, uh, um, yeah, I guess the, the focus was just to try to keep him in that pocket, which we did a little bit better job. Uh, he's obviously a good athlete and uh, still made some plays, but. You know, Kyle, coach and the offensive players said that the rocket busted that big run <clears throat> touchdown. That kind of changed the tone for them. It's the same with the defensive guys. It's kind of like, okay, you know, back. In the yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was that was a huge play for uh, Crockett. You know, once we get that offense rolling, you know, as a defense, we just kind of sit there and go, okay, now it's our turn. Um, all we can do, um, regardless of what the score is, is just go out there and uh, try and get a stop and get the ball back to our offense. And obviously, um, you can see what they can do with the ball. Um, they can make some explosive plays. We've got some playmakers over there, so we just got to um, do our job and get them the ball back. Chris, how big was the pick, your pick, before the end of the first half to maybe cement the momentum? Uh, that was huge, and Beck made a, a big play to deflect it, and it went right into my arms. Um, so, I mean, it was a big play. I mean, we got the momentum going into the half, and, I mean, we we really uh, took the victory from that point. Kyle, up front, later part of the game, it's yourself as the only senior. It's on and Rocious Tang were out there. It looked like you guys were all the questions about the defensive line were just like you yeah, have in the last yeah, I mean, I, I was talking to those guys on the sideline. You know, um, kind of, I told the whole team, you know, you just you just go out there and play. You know, don't let the moment be too big. Um, doesn't matter what the score is. Doesn't matter if they're moving the ball, um, whatever it is. Just go out there and uh, play your game. And <clears throat> I knew these guys could ride to the challenge. Um, to be honest, I didn't know if it, it would be this quickly. I, I was Tangway. I think had attacked two tackles before you know the game even started. Almost it was uh, it, it was unreal and it was. Uh, it's just good to see, and especially get this uh, this first one under the belt. And um, you know, I think we'll be keep we'll continue to see great things from those young guys. But you guys are from Big Twelve territory. You also finish your careers on beating against the FBS. What does that mean to each of you? You win. <laughs> oh man, uh, especially um, I was a huge Husker fan growing up. Um, beating what was it? What was it three Big Twelve teams? Yep. Um, it's something, uh, to be honest, I, I was just hoping to win uh, maybe one or two um, coming into college. Um, this was, it's, it's just huge. It's, it's unreal. Um, I know I had, I had this one especially marked on my calendar. My brother is a Iowa State alum, and uh, I don't think he wore green and gold actually to this game. So uh, just a little extra motivation. But no, it's, uh, it's just a huge honor to be on this team. And, and uh, I, think, uh, I think I speak for everyone and say it's a special place. No, I can't. I, I couldn't, and uh, I'm calling him out on media <laughs> now. So hopefully he sees this. He's older. He's uh, yeah. He graduated I think 2004 or five, something like that. Christian, I, I think you appreciate the staff. Colts five and all out starting. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. uh, who would have thought kind of thing to a thought like this? Uh, I don't, I don't know really what to say. That I mean, coming to North Dakota State, I never would have imagined for him going five and zero, for me to go four and zero. But I mean, once I got here, I started to see the way that we prepare for games, the way that we do things in the off season, and and once you know I started playing and started rolling, um, it really became no surprise the past four years of of beating FPS opponents. And, um, you know, I think we had new coaches, but the tradition stays and the preparation is the exact same. And uh, that's gonna, what's going to make us successful in the future. I'll ask everybody else that's Christian, so I'll ask you a lot of question marks coming into the season after you know, all you guys graduated and coaching staff. <coughs> Does this show that the Bison train is just going forward a thousand miles an hour again? Or back on that again? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, like I said, it's the tradition is the same. Um, Culture is the same, preparation is the same, same hard-nosed offense, same uh, gang tackle and defense. I mean, it's just the it's the way we do things. I mean, coaches are going to change, players going to come in and out, but it's the the culture here. It's it's not going to change. I know this, uh, this is a point of pride for you guys, but it's 19 straight wins on the road. What goes through your mind when you say that? I try not to think about streaks too much. It's uh, but. Uh, at the same time, you can't really ignore it. Um, I think it's uh, it's a big testament to uh, our coaches and the routine they put us in. Um, I, you can just see the focus on the plane, on the bus rides, uh, everything on a away game. It's it's always the same, <clears throat> and um, I think that's uh, had a uh, that's got to be a big part of uh, why we've had success on the road.